smoke and mirrors. That is what former Montana Democratic Governor Brian Schweitzer calls the Gianforte tax plan. He, along with Democratic gubernatorial candidate Ryan Bussey and running mate Rafe Graybill, spoke with the media in a Zoom news conference today. Bussey says his plan is simple. Reduce taxes, reduce red tape, and roll back the tax rate. Schweitzer says the Gianforte administration is blaming county commissions for the property tax increases while giving big corporations, including Northwestern Energy, multi-million dollar tax cuts. And as for the property tax task force, they see it as a waste of taxpayer dollars to fix something that's just not that complicated and something that other administrations have been able to figure out. This was really an easy problem to fix. There is no reason this needed to be controversial. Um, this is not the first time that home values have gone up in Montana. We've got precedent and a proven path for fixing exactly this kind of problem. In fact, it was so obvious, I think state law requires the Department of Revenue to come out and tell the governor, hey, here's how you avoid the obvious problem. And though um, he was told the proverbial oven was hot, for whatever reason, he just really wanted to touch it. I'm telling you. These 31 pages, uh, there's some decent ideas in there, but the legislature meets 90 days every other year. What they need to do is use the multiplier that we've used for 40 years and, and say to every homeowner in Montana, we're not going to increase your taxes. That was pretty simple to do. A dangerous plan to strip local governments, municipalities from being able to do things in their own community. I get it that... Um, Apparently, the party of local control, the party that likes to say they're for local control, uh, Governor Gianforte's party, is now um, ardently anti-local control. I think that it needs to be pointed out. It's dangerous. They also tell us there are some new ideas in the tax plan that was released today, but it doesn't reverse the bad decisions of the past that created these higher property taxes for Montanans in the first place.